Hello viewers, you are welcome to our show, Sports Banter, where the fans are king. My name is Tyro Ibrahim. Uh, we have Manchester United fan and a Chelsea fan here with us. It's a weekly show where we have fans of various football clubs come here to banter about their clubs, about what the club stands for and various things about the club. So to my right, I have a Manchester United fan who is going to be introducing himself shortly. And after him, Chelsea fan by my right will also be doing the same. So, yeah. Hello, viewers. My name is Omotaya and I support Manchester United. Uh, my name is Abdi Nikar Kitumbi and I support Chelsea football. Thanks for coming, guys. We are so glad to have you guys. So, just recently, I was starting with Manchester United fan. Just on Monday, Manchester United defeated Chelsea 2 0. That's the third time you guys have been having an edge over Chelsea in the Premier League and the League Cup. How do you feel as a Manchester United fan? Because throughout the season we have had our own difficulties, but anytime we come up against Chelsea, we always have that edge. Chelsea do play better, but we have been effective with our play. We play the counter football, and when we break, we break very well with at least four to five players with the ball. And every time we play, we at least get nothing to four to five shots on target in both halves. And in the three games, I think we have about eight goals against you guys and just one good against So for me, I'm pleased with the team's performance. So, you guys are so excited about it, that's my fear. Very, very, very excited. All right, thank you. Chelsea fan, what do you think led to Chelsea's loss? How do you feel as a Chelsea fan? Losing the match center three times in a row in a single season. Well, yeah, I, don't, I don't know why you are putting it to my face that I lost. And it's unfortunate that you are saying that in Manchester United, you are saying that in we are, we are very proud that we are beating Chelsea back to back. I want to remind you that last season we lost 4 0. Chelsea beat Manchester United 4 0. That was, and that was losing money, beating Manchester United 4 0. But it happens, it's painful, especially. I would like to correct that was not COVID. Last season we couldn't beat us. On both legs. On both legs, but we with won. Mario, we, won, we, won we won 4 0. But again, exactly. there was. I think that what happened on Monday is just unfortunate for us, for Chelsea, mm -hmm. well, because we had, if not because of um, that, um, my, for me, to my own opinion, I've said this over and over again, and I'm repeating it. If not for that unfortunate technological VAR, we, we would have, we have lost that match. We had a goal, VAR passed it, we scored again, VAR passed it the second time. Well, I don't, so, I don't know. It's, 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 it's that technology, I don't know who invented it. Has it. Game. it has not improved the game. Go and check that, it. It has that been that, that not fear has been it, has, it has detected and destroyed the football. No, it has not defeated it. But to answer your question, what happened on Monday was just, it's, it's, we will recover. It might take time, but we will recover. But it's unfortunate. But I feel you I'm should sure, I'm sure you are aware that Chelsea are just three points clear of Manchester United in the first position of the Champions League. That's, 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 and he stayed and he scored. But you should have said, okay, 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 maybe we should give thanks to the app. So that's just it. But this is what we did on Monday. This one, yeah. We did well. 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 There's a saying in my land. They will say, a child that does not know book, but you are saying he has a good handwriting. That has been Lampard's play this season. Check all your games. The game to Manchester City, you are the only side. To have that position, that the regular side in about ten years. Just they were just unlucky. We won just one game against the big season. They were just unlucky. They were just unlucky. Just two games against the big season, the Premier League this season. They just don't know how to lose us. And those two sides will be. I don't like calling us like big team. Okay. Let's, okay. Let's, 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 let's stop now. Exactly. Exactly. I also feel Chelsea is even a small club. When, when you are calling the big teams in England, for Liverpool now, I start. We are set. In fact, we even we should lose because Liverpool is a very good club. They are winners of this season. The Premier League, they are already Premier League. They've not won this season. They've not won. 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 But at least all everything is pointing to them. They will win. Eventually, eventually, they will win. Eventually, all right. Thank you. But then, what happened to answer your question? Monday was just a fortune. Yeah, he mentioned VAR. 
what do you think about VAR? Do you think that my heart is going to be on an advantage over Chelsea because of the decisions by VAR? No. Some of the decisions, Chelsea fans are crying foul on the internet that the first decision, the first goal was ruled out, the Zuma's goal was ruled out, which for me I felt it's a good decision for the Zuma's goal. But there are some contentious decisions there. Why Chelsea fans are so complaining? I have nothing as much as I found. Some of them are okay. beginning to think the victory that it was a very good victory. I don't think. For me, I'll take you back to my mentor, Mourinho. When he was with Sky he made a statement when Pep was complaining about the year. He said, Who will complain about the CCTV in the beginning if not a thief? So if you are trying to say Chelsea fans are. Yeah, they are crying for They are crying for That's just it. They are just crying for Because I put a technology in a place to checkmate bad things. And yes, if you check VR so far this season, look at the outside ball. It was just the tip of his boot, but was it upside? It's, it's it was an outside not ball. existing. That was true. And they were not sure, okay. sure, 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 sure. That because was the tip to England should have won at the World is... Cup during the Lampard, uh, Lampard versus Jamie era. 2010. That goal, the goal line technology. Let me explain something. I, I okay, for those for arguments, let me say this. Do you remember the I World Cup final in South Africa? The jump versus Spain. That just that one. That was on Alonso. That was a red card defense, but everything you see it. I want to explain something now publicly in front of the whole world. There are things that should that should be allowed to pass. Like what? Yes. Like what? Even before VAR. Okay, like when you measure 2013 World Cup, that goal that the last pass for the base Germany and not. It's painful, it's unfortunate, but at least that's that's always football interesting. There are some things we argue, it is there are some things we argue. But it's not fair. Is, life is not fair. Life is not completely fair. Yes, but you put some things in place. Okay, why do we have government? The United States World Cup goal. Maradona hand of World Cup goal. There was no technology. Was it fair to the team? If there was VR, VR would cancel. Yes, because it's not right. But the point about it now is you. It looks like you are for VR. That I am not for VR. You are against VR. I'm for VR. I'm against VR. Because I understand your question. Because Chelsea lost, and most of Chelsea lost. I have always been against VR before Monday. Before last Monday. I've always been against VR. So, what happened? But it's so painful that because Chelsea lost. Well, maybe because Chelsea lost. Yes, Chelsea lost. I am Chelsea fan. I should feel it's painful to me. But aside, aside, aside from the VR, I want to lose. Not to Manchester United. Not to Manchester United. Aside from the VR, I lose. Chelsea for me. They didn't do well enough to win that game. To, have, to even take a point in the 90th minute, you had no social. The whole 90th minute, you had no social. Igalo came on in the 90th minute. Though, they had no social. Though, they scored. The only thing that should concern me as a Chelsea fan, no, to us, it would have been a Cinderella. So, the white coat on Nigeria. No, the script would have been perfect. One thing that would get to the Chelsea fans would get to the Igalo's matter. One thing that should concern me as a Chelsea fan is that they had the whole, the whole 90 minutes in the middle position, and they couldn't even find a way to get it going. I was a key as a Chelsea fan. Most of the games they played this season, they have they've had about eighty percent of the ball possession. And they can't seem to find a way through. But try Rob was brought in for Tam Abraham. We, 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 we are seriously missing Tam Abraham. Oh, I thought some of you said Tam Abraham was not good enough know. to leave the line. That that, is, that argument can stand too. But I personally like Tam Abraham. At least, especially in the day like last morning, this unfortunate man had this man. We would have, we would have, I, I think we would have needed a Tammy Abraham there to replace that try. That try was there and he was just completely dismissed. It was disappointing in that match. If, if there was a Tammy Abraham there, he should have got I feel, him. I feel, no, no, no that's, that's, a, that's unfair on a try. Because if you check the front line, Pedro was I shitty, see, William was shitty, Kovacic was a little bit better, Jogi was off key. So apart from but try everything that was just Everything, yeah, but then in our front, we need a, 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 a match like Manju, Man City, Liverpool, Arsenal, let's have Arsenal this time. Arsenal, we will need somebody, a top striker, to help us in any time things, in case anything want to go out of the way, like it happened on Monday. But then we have, we did have the time we have that try, and that's why we suffer. So if we suffer, we contributed so much, we lost. I lost so much, everybody contributed, but again, we needed this to do that. But in a striker like Abraham, who would have at least jumped those who take over? Yeah, Manchester United had some chances, but they were able to do the need for when they made the goal and they were able to take points. Now, and the she came on, came into the team and did a very decent job. Um, what do you think about Bailey being ahead of the Swedish guy? What's his name? Lindelof. Lindelof. 
Well, for me, I'm very happy with that because if you check Man City this season, they are struggling because they don't have depth. If you check Barcelona, they are struggling because they don't have depth. If you check Madrid, they are struggling because they don't have depth. But if you check Liverpool, they are on that roller coaster ride because when you look at the bench, they still have someone they can bring up to make some changes with the same style of play. So having Bay back and keeping the clean sheet was a very good one for us. Because if you check the partnership of Maguire and the club, they have been very, very good, even though we concede. But if you check the game, the statistics they have during each game. In the game, they have about 85% area draws won. They have tackles won, about 50 to 56 per game, in between the two of them. And I'm very glad with that. So having Bay back, now we can have squad rotation in the Europa League. We can start Bay again to make sure he's fully fit. In the league against Watford, have Lindelof back. Then that way our defense line is getting balanced. Because if you check our defense now, in our left back position, we have Brandon Williams doing a very good job in place of Shaw. And when she comes, we do play three at back. And so far this season has worked very well for us. So for me, what, what do you expect? Situation. Then they go from here after the Chelsea's victory. When you think they go from because Manchester United over time, and when they play a big team, they go on a very poor run of form before they can win another game. For me, so what are you expecting? For me, I'm not really smiling. But I feel, as a manager, getting that victory was very, very important for the team's confidence and for everything moving forward. Now we are playing to uh, some games in Europe, at least we are in knockout stage. We are playing for a group twice in two weeks. So I know now he has the chance to rotate that squad, even though he will not give most of the young kids the opportunity because now we have that back door to go into the Champions League to the Europa. So getting the result against club which is very important. Against Watford is very, very, very important because we know we are now just three points behind Chelsea and we have a kind of difference. So we are praying for Tottenham to beat Chelsea and for us to just beat Watford to just get into that slot. So for now, it's not that early how it's only staying for now. For now, for now. So Chelsea, where do you think Chelsea go from here after they lost the case Manchester United? They're playing Tottenham next. Uh, I, 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 don't, I don't know if it's right for me to sound a little religious here, but I think that Chelsea will need to call on God the way things are now because we really need help. We are playing Tottenham, we play Bayern Munich. We, play, we, play, we have big matches ahead of us. We should start fasting and pray. We, we have big matches ahead of us, and I, I don't know how we make it. In the way, in the way things are. I know I should support Chelsea, but again, I should be realistic because I, I, it will be painful if Chelsea doesn't play Champions League next season. And the way things are going to happen. If we do well, this, they are not going to be able to play Chelsea. They said Chelsea are not a big team. Yeah, they are like a big team. Chelsea, in the last six years, we have played the Europa League twice. The match we have on Monday has given much time in the now. We are just three points. You can catch up with us any time now. We are going to catch up. That's for sure. You know, you can't see things. I'll be sure. 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 I'll Okay, for me, according to the choices, they will have to bring in the head to head tool. I'm talking about the season, don't go outside the season. Outside the season now. Because you beat us. Hello, I have to go to the game soon. I'm too patient. So you are a smart team too. No, but the devil. If I see no one, I'm just going to be scared. When you start the game, you know. I'm saving to your thoughts. What do you think? Before I'm saving to your thoughts. The difference is three points. But as a team, I'll be better than you. Head to head. But you know this question will answer it at the end of the season. No, no, no I'm saying now, for now, the better team between the two should be better. No, no, no. Why does what I said? Why should I accept? Someone like that. I am fought. I am fought. But you are still praying to God to lost to get the game. You have lost twice this season, so I'm your boss. Lost two at home and one away. Considering eight goals and scoring. No, the last time Chelsea lost to Southampton. I said everything was. The table, I'm looking at the top time, the table is showing that I am fourth, we are seventh. But the Carabao Cup is also showing that Manchester United came to Stanford with an inferior guys too, and they don't have to be Carabao I've come to your own ground to be twice. Talk about greatness, they what came there, they won you guys, they won about the league, which is good that they, they took six points from you guys, scored six goals, and you know, scored But I'm still fourth and they are seventh. I am fourth and they are seventh. Well, I'm playing the better side. 
Yeah. 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 For, for, for the following coming matches, I, 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 like I said, Chelsea will just need to double up their effort. I pray, I pray Graham is not, I pray our strikers are complete, so that if I, I don't pray for us to lose, but if they lose, we will not have an now, excuse. Now I can catch you with that, because looking at those fixtures, I can tell you in our six games, we are not winning even three of those games. Ah, we should show. You cannot be talking about the Ah, we should show. Why we play the best? Why we play the best? I ask the staff for that we do 4-4. Who, who, who saw that that was unfair on them now. Ah, that was unfair. Uh, center backs had breaks. Alright, guys, thanks for all your time. We're going on a short break. And when we come back, we're talking about Gallo and the next few games between Chelsea and Tottenham. Manchester United are against Watford. So when we come back, we'll give you details about that. We're going on a short break. Thanks. So right now, I'll be starting with the Manchester United fan. I'm talking about Igalo. Yeah, Igalo came on against Chelsea and he almost had a goal. Ah, ah, what was going on in your mind when you had that chance? I was very, very happy for, for him and for myself as a Nigerian. And again, if you check out his performance that day, he had a very good game. Because he came on for about five minutes, he had shot the target. And for a 30 year old striker coming from a lower Chinese league, for us, it was a good thing for him. So moving forward, we hope to get some good numbers for the world. What's the target for the game? At least five to six goals. It's enough for the Much winning goals, exactly. And we're excited that he's going to sign the permanent deal. Mm, if I decide on the permanent, probably because it's 30 plus, so maybe you'll be getting one year contracts. And for us, it's good as Nigerian fans that we have our own boy there for Manchester United. Okay. So, do you think he should make a return to the Super League? Because some fans have been clamoring for his return to the Super League. Well, 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 if I'm to be sincere, I don't want him back in the Super League. So, I think we focus on every single Manchester United chase for the trophy and at least he's put in the Champions League. But what if he scores like 10 15, 10, 15 goals? That was realistic. And I know, Roman. Fans will clamor for his return back to the team. Definitely, definitely. And if you have to be advising him, coming, will you advise him to for me, I think he has done his part. In qualifying, he was the highest scorer. At AFCON, he was the highest scorer. So those records are already there for him. So he doesn't have to prove anything. And we came third in the AFCON. So moving forward, he should just move on with his career with Manchester United and get some good numbers and break some records. So if he gets a good number, so he wants Manchester to enjoy him, he wants to enjoy him. I think I want to disagree why? Why would you disagree? I, mean, I want to disagree. I think that everybody, so every success, every success you make, you want more. Everything. If you achieve something today, you want to achieve. But he has already done very good for Spain. He, he has, he has played for Nigeria. He has qualified us. He has I can't played. remember the last time he has been scorer. He has been scorer. He has been scorer. Two additions from the qualifiers and the nation score. Yes. We want more. We still want him back. But you haven't seen him in twenty years. But don't you think he's coming back in Europe? Don't you think he's coming back with probably? It will data the progress of 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 the we are building some new generation. You are speaking this way because I man wanted to. No, I'm just trying to be realistic with it. It's Not like you telling us to bring back a culture because we lack creativity in the middle. No, you just have to get someone in that food and just let him quit. And Osime is a good striker. He's all up there. Bringing in Igalo will stop the progress of Osime. 
Because once the value comes in, you can have to sit to the team. You smell with the second choice time. Because now we also play two shots. Check the record. When you play two shots, you don't have to play. They don't have to play. They don't play the same. Yeah, they play from the flank. They don't play the same. Two percent plays from the right. So for me, I just feel you can't just do Manchester United and then I need to take care of them. Alright, okay. Okay. Chelsea, the next game is against Tottenham. What's your prediction? Well, I, 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 I don't know what to predict seriously because the way things, I, I pray we win. I want us to win. I'll be happy to win. We won the first leg. We won, we won the first leg. We won the first leg. Please, at least I was. Remember, Tottenham won the Champions League game, so and they know they are within this kind of pockets. They lost their game against Leipzig last week. So they know if they can win against Chelsea. They are in a very, very close game. Very, very close. If, if, I think the difference between them is just the fight. They move to fourth. They move to the fourth position. Just say, most likely the fourth position. So, so it's them that is going to make or break that. That's, that's why this guy is going to be, it's going to be a cracker because number one, Mourinho wants to revenge against his son who injured him the first day. He put that he went to son to destroy and beat his father. And so the father wants to take advantage of beating his son back. So, but I think that if, in the way things, I, I, I hope we win. I hope we win. It will be glad if we win. But let me not just say my heart. Kante is going to be out for three weeks. Oh, what do you feel about it? Kante is out. I'm going to be this. Kante is out. Abraham is out. Abraham is going to be fit. Abraham is going to be fit. I don't know what to say about that. Psychologically, I feel just like it. It's our first week. Well, if we lose to Tottenham, it will be the first time. It will be painful. But it will be the first time. Because it will displace you from the first time. It will displace us for the main time. It might come back. Might, but for a very long while you have been there, you have been in first But to me, I have a feeling if Chelsea are to use the fourth position now, they've been there for almost since the season started. Exactly. Now, you're losing it with just about 12 games to go. 12 games is still a lot of games. It's a lot of games, and they started losing already. And they are not, and the point is that they have a system here of Tottenham and the other two. All we need from me is to lose like this. The problem is too much. They lost against Tottenham. So we also give you some gaps, and we are already on, on the road. And it's been dangerous for them. Because so I feel the game against Bayern is what do you think about Lampard playing, Bashoi are not playing Giroud? How does that make you feel as a Chelsea fan? That's some Chelsea fans are clamoring for Giroud to be in the team ahead of Bashoi because Bashoi has been poor this season, and Lamp I mean Giroud has not played. We first time he played against Manchester United for the first time in two months. Many Chelsea fans are saying. Giroud should be second choice behind Tammy Abraham. And Lampard doesn't seem to have any of that. He's staying, but try. He keeps staying, but try, even though he is. But try has his own days too. Yeah, he has his own day. 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 He has his own and so should be, you should, should use him ahead of Bashoi because going back to what happened on Monday, it depended on him and he flopped. So if we had a Jimmy, if we had an Ibrahim here, something would be better for us. But I feel Bashoi should also be given time. He has, he has because if you check him down, he's not new to Chelsea. This is in the other season. Bashoi has six more, how many seasons with Chelsea now? Not permanently, you have been loading him out. So he needs that confidence. He needs that skill, four to five games on the bounce. To give his confidence. Yeah, yeah, it's it's for my own team to so just in that pass. So you use it for four to five days. So yeah, so you struggle. So you take over. Exactly, exactly. Another thing about Kepa. Kepa has been poor this is by every standard. Now Lapa has taken the decision to drop into the bench and be Caballero. Caballero really too, has not been convinced. As a Chelsea fan, do you think Kepa should be given another opportunity to play? Or Caballero should continue? I think we should get another keeper. Apart from Kepa, apart from Kabele, we should just go and go. We don't go and go and get the goalkeeper. We don't have a goalkeeper in Chelsea. So I think it's good that they are just keeping for us. We don't have a goalkeeper. But for, for, now, for, now, for now, I think that we should just keep up with what we have. Keep up with Kepa. Kabele was dismissed and completely dismissed at the World Cup. Kepa was not forgiven for that World Cup. That that match against the match against Croatia, the second no, match. That's that, that was that's a that's 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 the last two games they are kept for Chelsea. So seeing him when I saw him on Monday, when I saw him on Monday, that was the first thing that came to my mind. That match against Croatia, 
and then you are the one who I was disappointed. No, no, but, and but, that was the side I'm going with. But against, against Leicester City, it was in goal, and it was in the same place. And I had a great team. Why are you playing in Saturday if you are considering goals? Oh, you're saying the goalkeeper not to consider it. No, because that's his job. He should, he should but the most possible. expensive goalkeeper he has about the worst record in England, which is Kepa. He, he costs about 70 million pounds. So he's considering goals of plenty. So you want Kepa to be brought back to the game against Tottenham? He was, I think we should, I think we should just make do with what we have, and then at the next transfer we will get the goalkeeper. So you want to give me a prediction for the game? I can't believe for that. Maybe that was what happened to her. Yeah, I'm scared. 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 So against Watford, I feel we got to start with Marshall up front. Just the way we have Rashford and Marshall up front. So you got to do more of the whole up play for Marshall. Because if you check Marshall's record, ever since he got to Manchester United, when he's been playing up front in the he always struggled. Apart from the way he against Chelsea, he was more like in Marshall. His whole up play was poor, his link up play were bad. So having him with the guy up front, I think we're going to defeat. Bruno Fernandes joined the general transfer window. How do you know the transfer window? That's a very good one right now. Because against Chelsea, he had an assist and he had a very good game. And if you check his first game against the Wolverham team of us, it was more like a leader. Because in that game, he was just controlling all the play. Telling Fred what to do, telling Wam Saka what to do, telling them to make those deep runs. And if you check that goal against Chelsea, before he even scored the goals, it was, before he made the assist right now, it was Fred that was there. And the fans were chanting. Bruno, 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 and Fred had to leave. Bruno took it up and boom, to an assist. So, for him as a player, it's an upgrade coming from the, the, um, oh, the, the Premier League from Portugal to Premier League. So, it's an upgrade for him and moving forward, I think, you get good numbers. That reminds me about Fred. Recently, he's been on a good run of him. When he joined, he was poor. He was besides him. And now, the one more Senate player of the month for Fred and January. Now he seems to have torn the corner. The thing is, Fred is one unique player that people get to underweight. If you check under Mourinho, because I think Mourinho got him. Under Mourinho, Mourinho brought Fred from Shaka. Fred was an attacking midfielder. But Mourinho brought him and told him to sit on the bench to learn English football. That same season, Mourinho brought him McTominay from the academy. And naturally, McTominay is in the mode of schools. DM played the long ball very aggressive. And Mourinho came. And said, okay, fine, I want to free up Kuba. So you have to push Fred backward. And if you check so far this season, Fred has been very fantastic because he has grown in that position of a DM and doing very well with the team. So for me, the team is growing. And I just feel Ole, Ole will be punished for his good deeds. Because everything Ole is doing right now with the team will not be appreciated until he's gone in like two, three years. Because if you check the team right now, we are trying to build a squad that is about 24, 25 years of average age. So when you have players that are just 24, 25 in average age, then they are to mature 27, 28 in their prime. Then boom, you can't believe it. And we go on the bounce. So just watch out. Final word from you. Final word is that I think that this season we just have to just grow up with them. I keep supporting Chelsea, and then next season will be better. You just have to move forward to next season, start early, start succeeding from the beginning of next season. Up. But for this season, that's a give up. But for this season, the miracle will help us to beat them. It will help us to beat them. You have to go to MFA. <laughs> <laughs> like, you have to start <laughs> playing for that. If, 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 we, if, if we could not, I'm sorry to say this, I'm a Chelsea fan, but I'm sorry to say this, if we could not beat Manchester United, we could they are possible. What do you mean beat Manchester United? You are your it, boss. Even though they are possible, then I'm sorry, I'm not expecting anything in this language. I may mean, so expect something for Tottenham, but I want to leave up for that one. But anything can happen, let's move forward to Yeah, football is a very good thing. I mean, as a Chelsea fan, you don't believe in the Munich miracle that happened in 2012. That was not a 20th century. This is not a 20th century. 
and their difference is around the same. And the squad that played that match is not the same squad that played this squad. So we are not optimistic at all. If it happens, I will celebrate it. I will not open my beer and drink for it. But, <laughs> but if it doesn't, I will know that I will expect it. I didn't expect it to be. Okay. Right. Thanks, guys, for coming. We appreciate you for coming. Yeah, thanks our viewers for listening for watching us. So we'll be back next week again for another edition of Sports Banter. You can do well by subscribing and watching us on YouTube at News Express Nigeria TV. We'll be back again next week for another edition of Sports Banter. Do have a nice weekend. Bye bye. Enjoy the games in Libya.